I'm Renee Marie Smith with 5TV, a trending 50 web series about 50 entrepreneurial women in America. We are here today in Los Angeles with Liz and Sarah, TV writers, producers, and podcast hosts. Welcome, Liz and Sarah. Thank, Thank you. you. It's great to be here. Now, Liz and Sarah, our audience are meeting you for the first time. So, Sarah, can you share something about Liz that they couldn't find out about her in a resume or on the internet? I can. I have known Liz uh, since we were like 14 years old, so I could probably share lots of things, but <laughs> I will share that for the first four years that we lived in Los Angeles, Liz did not have a car <laughs> at all. Um, and so, of course, I was the driver. And then one day we drove by like a Volkswagen dealership and I said, oh, look, the Volkswagen dealership's having a sale. <laughs> <laughs> there are balloons. <Yep. laughs> and that day Liz got a car. <laughs> you set her free otherwise. Yeah. She had her own wheels. Excellent. Yeah. And Liz, what can you share about Sarah? Well, Sarah and I are writing partners now, but she was my boss technically in high school because she was the editor in chief of our high school newspaper called The Voice in Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> And I was under her as an executive editor, so she got to boss me around. <laughs> Teamwork and action. Well, wonderful. And that's a great lead into my next question, because how or what was the path from Kansas City to Los Angeles for the two of you? And we'll go ahead and start with Liz this time, since we started with Sarah. Well, um, funny story. Sarah and I, so we were obviously very close friends in high school. And we both went off um, to college. Sarah went to Williams in Massachusetts. I went to Columbia in New York. But we stayed in touch. And we, were meet, we met up in Kansas City, where we're from, for drinks over Christmas break. Sarah was in the process of moving from the East Coast to LA, um, driving cross country with all of her stuff. And um, we say beer one of our get together. I was like, I'm gonna come visit you, like maybe for like three weeks, really, you know, hang out. And by beer three, I said, I'm moving to Los Angeles with you. <laughs> and I stayed up all night thinking about it, went downstairs at 6.30 in the morning and told my parents, I'm moving to LA with Sarah from New York. Um, and six weeks later, we were living in Santa Monica together in a beach house. You first started writing together, of course we heard about you being the editor, Sarah, but first published, I understand, at age 15 in co-writing. And here you are, you know, decades later, still working together. Was that intentional or accidental? It was really accidental. Um, I had a job working for Lauren Holly, who was, who was an actress. Um, I was her second assistant, which is basically her assistant's assistant. And she had a deal um, at a studio to develop shows. And we both wanted to be writers. Liz wanted to get into TV writing. I thought I wanted to write films uh, or go into development. And then Lauren had this deal and she very kindly said, so if you have any ideas that seem right for me, let me know. And I took her seriously and came home and said to Liz, like, hey, guess what Lauren said? And we started coming up with TV show ideas. None of them were right for Lauren, as it turned out, but we sent a couple treatments to our other high school friend who happened to be an agent. We were very lucky yeah. early in our careers. Um, and he gave them to an office mate and said, hey, you know, look at this stuff. And suddenly we had an agent and then we were writing partners. Like we didn't put any thought into it at all. We really just kind of stumbled into it and we had no idea the like level of commitment that we were making at the time. It was just like, oh, this will be fun. And then, you know, 18 years later, <laughs> here, we, here are. we are. So now this is really interesting. Your career, of course, as writers, you're creating characters for someone else to perform in front of the camera. And a year ago, you started your podcast, Happier in Hollywood. And this is impressive. You ladies have now stepped in to be the characters or, you know, the center stage yourselves. Uh, share with us, Liz, what was the transition or the idea behind starting the podcast? Well, I mean, for one thing, I have always wanted to be a talk show host. That is, <laughs> that's like my secret dream. So um, to me, I've always wanted like to have a forum to just talk. Um, and I think Sarah and I, in 20 years of working in Hollywood, we've learned a lot. 
and we've always felt like we have so much to share and younger women writers are, and men, but especially women are always wanting to go to lunch with us, have coffee with us, get advice. Um, and so we always felt like we had so much to say about working in Hollywood. Um, and so it just seemed like a really natural thing for us to do. Uh, and I have another podcast with my sister, Gretchen Rubin, called Happier with Gretchen Rubin that's very successful. So it was easy to sort of transition to do Happier in Hollywood. And it's been great. And we've been, uh, you know, the envy of many other female TV writers who have a lot to say and wish they'd thought of starting a podcast <laughs> to say it. Yeah, and I think we really like just being able to um, just share what we've learned. I mean, yeah. these are hard won lessons, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, it's like we've gone through a lot of bad stuff um, to sort of get to a place where we have any measure of confidence in what we do. <laughs> so it's nice to, if not, you can't keep younger people from going through their own trials and tribulations in Hollywood, but at least they know it's normal. Yeah. And I think people just like to hear that, oh, okay, this horrible thing I'm going through, I got fired. Okay, everyone's gotten fired. These successful people have been fired numerous times. So I can get fired and move on too. And that's what I love. And that it's not exclusive to Hollywood. Yes. All the things that we go through, whether it's life stuff, like fertility issues, or whether it's work stuff like getting fired, which again, we have been many times. Um, it's just, it's stuff that everyone experiences. Everyone has massive difficulties in different areas of their lives. And, you know, we like to talk about how to get through them and come out on the other side. And that's wonderful. That really is wonderful. And uh, I think that everyone can, you know, take that hand. You know, mm -hmm. there's always a point when you want to turn around and give a hand to the person behind mm -hmm. you. So it's wonderful to hear that that's your lady's motivation on the podcast. And I've been enjoying listening to your podcast. But for you two, what has been the biggest surprise at running a podcast together? And I'll start with Sarah. What has been a surprise for you? I really love our listeners and I didn't I didn't think through when we started it um, about how important that engagement would be you know I thought of like I'm nervous I'm gonna feel like this how am I gonna kind of muscle through my own anxiety and you know um, I really never thought about like wow I'm really gonna enjoy having this connection with people and hearing about how something that we said on the podcast has had a real measurable impact on their lives. And I love, like we have a Facebook group and people will write in questions on the Facebook group and we don't have all the answers, but there are, you know, thousands of other people there who might. And people send us emails and it's every single day it makes my day better. And I totally didn't expect that. That's wonderful. And one of the goals for Trending 50 um, is really to start the conversation about women defining success on their own terms in 2018. And so as part of that, Liz, how do you define success for yourself? Well, I mean, I'm somebody who, like, I ascribe to you can have it all. I, you know, I want to have a great family life and I want to have a great career. I'm, we are incredibly ambitious. Um, I don't compromise my ambition at all and I don't want to. Um, so for me personally, it's, it's probably somewhat traditional in the sense that I really want to have a hit television show. That's how I would <laughs> define success, being a TV writer. But it's also having the freedom to say, hey, at six o'clock, I'm going to go home and be with my son. And to say, hey, my weekends are my weekends. And I don't need to work 24 seven to prove that I'm worthy of this job. I can, you know, I, if I get the job done and the, and you know, the allotted hours that I have, that's enough. And I don't have to just pretend that I'm not a mom. That's wonderful. And yourself, Sarah? 
I'm thinking about Liz's Gucci shoes. Uh -huh. um, I also like Gucci shoes. <laughs> uh, this is a trick, actually, that we got from Marsha Clark oh, yeah. because Liz had to give a speech and was afraid she was going to cry. And Marsha said, I think about, I don't remember what she, she said. She thought about something really neutral. And Liz was like, I'm going to think about my Gucci shoes. Yeah. So I'm going to think about your Gucci shoes because this makes me a little emotional. Um, I define success I'm totally thinking about your shoes and it works good I told you it works it does um, I define success as being able to put my daughter to bed at night being home for bedtime um, because to me that means that I am enough in control of my career that I have that I have the power to decide where I am and when I'm there um, so if I've made it home for bedtime I'm doing well. Now I should say during this pilot, I, we have not been making it home for bedtime. Um, but in the bigger picture, it's the season of sacrifice. You do what you have to do. Um, and for the most part, you know, 95 or more percent of the time I'm there and I put her to bed. Um, so that's for me, that's success. Well, thank you, Sarah. And thank you, Liz. Thank you. It's just so much fun. Yeah. This is Renee Marie Smith. Thank you for watching 50V, a trending 50 web series. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and share.